How to keep your child healthy. Teach your child to frequently wash their hands. They should do so after using the restroom and before they eat or touch their mouth or face. Give them a small bottle of hand sanitizer to carry around and use if a sink is not available. Instruct them to not share water bottles or drinks with others and to keep their hands out of their mouths. Much easier said than done with toddlers. Show your child how to sing the happy birthday song twice when washing their hands with warm, soapy water. This is the amount of time it takes to remove most germs. Show your child how to sneeze into their elbow and how to cover their cough with a hand as well. Make sure they get enough sleep. Sleep is important for the whole family since it helps set our metabolism and resets our mood. Getting enough sleep is especially important for kids because it helps them grow. According to pediatrician and author Karen Addison, if you are having trouble putting your kids to bed at night, emphasize that they will grow well when they sleep. If your kids know that they grow when they sleep, they will put themselves to bed. I guarantee you, she says. Use the 80-20 rule for healthy eating Robin O'Brien author of the best-selling book The Unhealthy Truth, urges parents to recognize that they will not be able to control 100% of what their child eats. Don't make perfect the enemy of good, she advises. 80% of the time, you try to do the best that you can. And then the other 20% of the time, you have to have the grace and flexibility to live in the real world, to know that these kids go to birthday parties. They're going to get stuff at school, and to be able to roll with that. Explain why healthy eating is important instead of telling children to eat healthy foods, explain to them why it is important. If they know that certain foods will make them taller and stronger, or make their hair shinier, they will want to eat them. Kids' relationship with food gets increasingly complicated as they get older, says Natterson. If you start when they're very young by teaching them that food is about growing healthfully and having energy to get through the day and fueling their brain, then you're teaching them everything they need to know for the rest of their life. Create fun opportunities for exercise Exercise is important for bone and muscle health, for creating positive emotions, alleviating stress and preventing diseases later in life. Most kids need about an hour of exercise each day. For kids dealing with control or focus issues, ADD, ADHD, or OCD, Dr. John Rady recommends involving them in martial arts or ballet because you get the benefit of the exercise, plus the focus and training for the attention system. Another benefit of exercise is that it has a positive effect on test scores. We see scores go up with more time spent in exercise and less time spent on subjects, he says. Teach them to hydrate our brains already percent water, so hydration is extremely important, especially for growing little ones. A great way to teach your kids to stay hydrated is to have them look at their pee. Being hydrated means drinking enough so that your pee looks like water. Natterson tells kids, look at your pee. And if it's really yellow, go get a glass of water. Open your windows The air we breathe can have a profound effect on our mood and cognitive abilities, so it is important to keep it clean. Sometimes the air in our homes can be even more polluted than the air outside. Gigi Li Chang, former CEO of Healthy Child Healthy World, recommends opening windows, using fans and vents and having indoor plants in the home to help clean and circulate the air. Limit their sugar intake Finally, if you want to prevent your kids from getting sick this winter, try to minimize the amount of sugar in their diet. According to Dr. Jay Gordon, sugar interferes with the body's immune system by binding up the antibodies that the immune system needs to fight viruses. A kid who's eating a high-sugar diet is going to get sick more often, he says. This way they can help prevent the spread of their germs as well. If your child is at home with you, then keep them there until they feel better. If your child goes to school or daycare, find out that location's policy on sickness.
Some schools require that a child is fever-free for 24 hours before they return. Make no mistake, your child will get sick at some point. Knowing how you will provide for their care will result in less stress for you and your child. Part of planning ahead is also knowing the proper doses of medication for your child. Stock up on common anti-fever medications such as acetaminophen, Tylenol, or ibuprofen. It is best to avoid a run to the pharmacy for basic medications whenever possible. You child should have a well child checkup every two to. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Check the description below and thank you so much for watching.